As the fallout from the riot continues, we're taking a look at how it's impacting North Alabama from more than 700 miles away. We have team coverage for you at 5. Way 31's Bridget Divers will break down new calls for Representative Mo Brooks to resign and his response. And Way 31's Megan Reyna joins us in studio tonight after a federal grand jury indicted a Morgan County man for weapons charges in those riots. She dug into that indictment as a first look now at some of the weapons and Molotov cocktails Lonnie Kaufman is accused of having with him. And these new court documents were getting a first look at Lonnie Kaufman and the weapons he possessed back on January 6th. The document even stating the weight of this evidence is overwhelming. Court documents made public included more than a dozen exhibits and pictures. Those pictures show Kaufman's red GMC pickup truck. We learned Kaufman spent a week in Washington leading up to the riot by living out of his truck, which was parked just a few blocks away from the Capitol building. Kaufman was found with long weapons and handguns, both in his truck and on his person, along with a crossbow, several machetes, camouflage smoke devices, a stun gun, and ammunition for his rifle and shotgun. Also in his truck, a box containing those fire bombs, mason jars filled with gas and melted styrofoam, which the government calls a homemade napalm. Then there's this photo, outlined in black. Kaufman is seen headed towards the Capitol in a crowd. On Tuesday, acting U.S. Attorney Michael Sherwin said in a news conference, the range of criminal conduct from the attack at the Capitol is unmatched. Kaufman is now indicted on 17 counts. We're looking and taking a priority with cases in which weapons were involved and cases in which destructive devices were involved. Investigators also found handwritten messages in Kaufman's truck, which prosecutors say praised Alamo in context with the rioting. Prosecutors released all of the exhibits as they seek to have Kaufman remain in custody, calling him a danger to society. Megan Reyna, Way 31 News.